Hello everyone, this is Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I'm going to be talking about how to assemble the mini book printables from my Etsy shop. And this one in particular is the shabby uh, pink Christmas set, but I have lots of different sets and they all kind of go together the same way. So um, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a frog in my throat. Hopefully it doesn't bother me while I'm talking here. Um, so to start with, um, each of my mini book sets comes with usually like four different co covers. And then it also comes with different sets of pages. And um, some of the pages are blank or lined and some have images. And um, this one actually has the Night Before Christmas poem. So um, what you want to do is um, to start with, you want to cut the um, covers out. And then you're also going to want to cut the pages into strips of three. And um, I'm going to show you how to put those together in just a minute, but let's go ahead and start with the uh, cover. So you can choose whatever cover you want and um, cut it out just like this. And then what we're going to do is um, go ahead and begin by folding it in half like this. And what that's going to do is give you the outside cover and the inside cover. And I designed it this way so that they wouldn't have to print two-sided because lining things up two-sided can be really difficult and I wanted to avoid the trouble with that. <clears throat> There's that frog again. Sorry guys. <laughs> Winter in Iowa brings froggy throats. And the next thing you want to do is fold it on either side of the spine. So I'm just going to do that. Make sure everything's really lined up nicely when you do this because if you get off a little bit, it can get kind of messy really quick. And there we go. And you can use a ruler for this or a scoring board if you have one. Okay. So now we're kind of getting our book shape here. You can see it's got the spine and the front cover and the inside and the back here. And then um, a lot of times what happens is there's a little extra paper here that you can trim away when you're finished, but I'm gonna wait to do that until I've glued the cover together. And to glue the cover, you'll probably wanna use um, like a regular uh, glue like this one. But um, for this video, I'm gonna use um, a glue stick just because it dries faster and that's easier when I'm showing a video to have things dry a little quicker so I can keep things moving along. And you could use a glue stick if you wanted, but I found that whenever I do it, um, sometimes it'll pop apart later on. It's like somehow when it dries, it just doesn't have the strength to hold the paper together. So it's really up to you though, what you wanna do. Okay, and it does have this kind of little bit of extra paper at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. And at this point, if you want to like ink your edges with um, distress ink or something, that's fine. That's a nice way to cover up kind of the white parts that sometimes show on the edges, but I'm not going to bother with that this time since this is just more of a tutorial. So I'm gonna set the cover aside and then we're gonna work with our strips of pages. So again, you want three strips for each book. And um, what you're gonna do is just fold these accordion style. So you kind of find the line of each page and you go back and forth, kind of like, you know, an accordion or, oh, I don't feel like I got that one right at all. I didn't, sorry. This is why I'm using a ruler is sometimes a good idea. And you'll just line them up and go back and forth, back and forth until it kind of starts to resemble, you know, an accordion. <laughs> Alright, so when you're done with your first strip, it'll look like that. And what you want to do is glue the pages together. So I'm going to glue one to two, three to four, five to six. So you just want to glue 
tofu white side to white side like that. And then the same over here. And glue stick does work for this. I haven't had the pages pop apart on me. So if you want to use glue stick to avoid wrinkles for this part, I think that's fine. There you go. And when you're done with that first strip, then you'll have a set of you know, one, two, three pages. And this will become kind of your first signature of pages for your little mini book. And then we're gonna repeat that process for the other two strips. Okay, so when you're done, you'll have three sets of three pages each. And what we're gonna do is put these together just like this. Line them all up together. And then you want to um, clip them with a pin or, or other, you know, whatever you have on hand that works. And then the raw edge, not, not the edge that opens for the book, but the, the back side that's kind of got the white showing, is where we're gonna apply the glue. And you'll want some real glue for this. And um, what you wanna do is kind of like spread it around so that it kind of touches each page and make kind of a thick glop on the back here. And then, you're going to stick that inside the spine of your cover. So just right inside here and make sure it's really pressed against it tight and kind of hold it there. Make sure it's lined up and everything. And then I like to pin the book shut like this and then I'll set it upright kind of so that it'll dry with all the pages pushed up against the spine. So then I'll just set that over here and I've got one that's dry and finished and then you've got your, your mini book pages. So it's that easy, really simple. And these are the shabby pink mini books from My Porch Prints. If anybody wants to look these up, I'll put a link down below. So that's it, it's that easy. Thanks for watching guys.